Say good morning, Mazzy. Say good morning, Max. How are these guys doing over here? <laughs> the normal morning schnauzer shenanigans. Yes. What's going on? Somebody coughing? Marley, you okay? Oh, hold on, guys. You okay, Marley? Are you okay, Marley? Oh, are you okay? You were having some morning sneezes. He was doing some of those, uh, uh, what's that called? Reverse sneezing. Yes, it's called reverse sneezing. He was having an issue there for a minute. Okay, everybody down. Everybody down. Okay, I wanted to show you what I get to look at every morning when I open my shades. Isn't it beautiful? I just love it. Just love it. And I'm so happy it didn't get destroyed in the storm. I think we staked it to get it straight, but I'm thinking I may have to put another stake on the other, uh, excuse me, the other side um, to get a little bit straighter here. But it's so pretty. I don't know how long. I'm going to have to Google how long the uh, blooms last. How long it flowers. I don't know if it's all summer or, or what. But it just started blooming. Oh, what was it? Like a week after we planted it? So, not sure what the bloom time is. I'm going to have to look it up. But it's so pretty. I'm so happy I changed my mind on the garden. There. And like I said, we planted grass around it. I may in time um, change change it up and do something else, not sure, but just pretty and simple, yes. So I have to set up the um, grooming area out here in my laundry room because I'm planning on grooming Mozzie here and Milo. I'm thinking I'm gonna make Mozzie's beard a little bit shorter only because He's drinking a lot more water due to the steroid. Um, like I said, we go back the 22nd and hopefully blood works better and, <coughs> excuse me, we can start weaning him off that, I hope. Um, I don't know. I've been washing his beard about every other day because it gets real stinky from uh, being wet constantly uh, because he sticks his whole like beard right in the water dish the other boys just get their tongue in there and keep their beard not so wet but him his beard's like this all day long <laughs> gets stinky from being outside and getting dirt in it and being wet all the time so i've been washing it about every other day i don't know maybe i won't do anything with it but i want to get them shaved down a little i know some people think wow they're not even that long but it's really hot right now, really humid, as you saw on my camera. Just the windows when you wake up in the morning are just steamed over. Um, so I'm planning on grooming, trying to groom him and Milo today. We shall see. Yes, you want to get groomed, Marley? Do you want to get groomed? No? Yes? <laughs> He's like, no, no, I just want a treat. I just want a treat. <laughs> So yeah, that's my plans today. And I also need to go grocery shopping today. We shall see. And it looks like, I don't know if it's supposed to, I gotta check the weather. I don't know if rain's coming again or not. We should be able to get them their popsicles today, later on. I'm gonna go and make myself some breakfast. Well, I was eating my breakfast and I heard some noise. And it's the city. I'm going to get all our branches we sat out to the road that fell. And also, got a tree service here. Consumers must have sent out. And consumers, somebody asked what is consumers? Consumer Energy. That's our uh, local energy company that we get our energy through, power through. So it looks like they're here after these guys are done to cut that branch off of the tree I'm curious to see what all they take off and what my tree is gonna look like after it's not the best looking tree anyways it's kind of skimpy but we we also even 
mold over the possibility of maybe cutting it down so I guess it won't really matter I just don't hope it look I hope it doesn't look too funny uh, if they take too many branches off so I'll uh, show you what they do when they start all right so update on the tree the tree people left and left this big mess in my yard these are piles here that I raked up yesterday Look at this big pile of branches and then didn't even cut the whole tree limb down that's broke which I don't understand why they didn't cut the whole thing down and why they left without taking care of this because they had a chipper uh, tree chipper on the back of their truck so I don't know what's going on I'm hoping they come back <laughs> Or my husband's going to have to call Consumers Energy and say, hey, what? I mean, they just leave this tree branch here dangerously instead of just cutting the whole thing down. I don't get it. All right, excuse the dryer going. Got laundry going again. It's never ending. <laughs> Here's the doggy popsicles. Yogurt pops. They're going to love them. They're outside right now and it's really hot. So I'm going to go take these out and let them enjoy them. This one kind of got a little, <laughs> the stick isn't very straight. Must have made the hole too big, but they ain't, they're not going to care. They're going to love them. All right, we better pass these out before they melt. Here you go. You want it? No? Here, take it. There you go. Mozzie's going to get his own. Here you go. Take it by the stick. There you go. Here you go, Mozzie. <laughs> They're like, what is this? Here you go. Take it. There you go. There you go. Here, take it. There you go. Here, take it by the stick. Take it by the stick. There you go. Max, you're not going to eat yours? <laughs> You're probably going to get hay all over it. Milo, why'd you leave your popsicle? I don't know if I've ever given him a frozen treat yet. I think I did last year. Max, take your take yours out of the dirt, Max. <laughs> it's like I don't care. Here, Max, come take it over here. Come take it over here in the grass. There you go. Here, Magnum. Come take it over into the grass. Oh, it was stuck to his beard. Come here, Magnum. Come over here in the grass. There you go. Stuck to his beard. Mozzie, yours is in the hay. Mozzie, you got yours in the hay. Come here. Oh, he's <laughs> like, no, get it back. I don't care. Let's let these guys enjoy these. It's a hot day, humid day. Milo, you ready for a bath? You ready for it? He's sniffing. <laughs> He's like, what is this? What is this up here? <laughs> Why don't you give him a bath so I can groom him? And thought um, I'd answer a question real quick. A lot of people have been asking what kind of shampoo I use. Um, right now, I've just been using... Um, Okay, so this this is not the bottle it comes in. I put the shampoo in this bottle. Somebody sent me a subscribe subscriber sent me this uh, shampoo, and I used it all up, and I really liked the um, uh, squirter here. So I put my Curaseb um, antifungal antibacterial shampoo inside this bottle. So this is not the actual name of what is in here. Um, I have it linked in our Amazon store. The uh, Curaseb shampoo I use on their paws uh, to help prevent yeast problems. Um, and then I just have this uh, store brand, Meyer store brand, 3-in-1 shampoo. I think it has a conditioner. It says multi-purpose shampoo to cleanse, condition, and detangle. Um, and then I just use this Meyer store brand puppy shampoo on their beard 
in case it gets close to their eyes or anything, it's tearless. So that's what I use to wash them. And then when I'm done washing them, I use, I've been using these uh, ear wipes um, to clean out their ears. And then I've been spraying this, uh, I'm trying to use this up before I buy the Curasub brand, um, antibacterial antifungal spray. I spray that on their feet after I get them all washed to help with the yeast too. So that's what I use when I'm giving my boys a bath. Yes, time to get you clean. You're stinky. <laughs> Milo's all done. You're all done, Milo. You're looking handsome. Yes, you are. <laughs> he does so much better letting me cut his hair. Yes, you do, Milo. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the video here. I got to get to the grocery store still, and I may do Mazi tonight. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. All right, guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.